For this video, I have chosen to review the album Stankonia by Outkast. To be able to understand this album to the fullest, we must first know a little bit about the individuals who created it. The first member of the group, Andre Benjamin, or better known as Andre 3000, grew up in a public housing development on the western outskirts of Atlanta, known as the Bowen Homes. Although Andre didn't find himself growing up in the best area, his mother, Sharon Benjamin, made sure her son wasn't trapped by some of the same circumstances that many others in the area faced. The first chance she got, she transferred him to a high-performing middle school, and at this middle school, Andre would join the drama, club, the drama club and student council. One of the biggest things that Andre said helped shape his music career was being able to draw influence from both sides of the spectrum. He is quoted in an interview saying, I grew up in the projects, but by going to school with white kids, I got into skateboarding and their music and everything. You can definitely hear this influence in the album. His musical partner, Antoine Patton, aka Big Boy, was born in Savannah, Georgia, where he spent half his childhood before moving to Atlanta with his aunt. While he was getting older, he realized his passion for music and attended Tri-Cities High School, a visual and performing arts school. While at school, Big Boy's musical passion got even deeper. It was also at school where he and Andre 3000 met and formed the group Outkast. They even got themselves a record deal with LaFace Records, who had also signed a couple big-name stars like CeeLo Green, Tony Braxton, as well as Usher. Once these two got together, they put out three albums before Stankonia, the first being released in 1994. Diving deeper into their fourth album, Outkast named the studio Stankonia, a word created by Andre 3000 as a combination of the word stank, a slang word for funky, and plutonia, a title of a poster board in his bedroom depicting a futuristic city. The album was released in the year 2000 and has some classics on it such as Miss Jackson, So Fresh So Clean, and Bombs Over Baghdad. With seemingly nothing left to prove, and this being their fourth studio album, Outkast mixed a lot of funky new sounds, such as guitars, drums, and trumpets, along with the typical rap beats, to create a galactic soul type of album. Stankonia was not just a great rap album due to the music, but also it gave the listeners an open, honest, charged reaction to what was happening in the world around them. The album talked about a plethora of issues at that time, starting from police brutality, the war on drugs, systematic oppression. The album also goes on to talk about love, manhood, and womanhood, along with what it, be, what it takes to become a father and mother. In my personal opinion, Outkast was one of the most influential rap groups of their time, and it carried on into the modern era of today. It is hard enough to have one classic on an album, but to pull off three is almost unheard of. In an album full of classics, it's always hard to choose your favorite, but in my personal opinion, it's Spaghetti Junction. This is due to the fact that the blending of the horns and the trumpets in the background really bring the whole track together, as, as well as their smooth rap flow on the song. The album Stankonia also won Outkast its first Grammy in the year 2002. That year was nominated for five awards and they ended up taking home two. This started a long run of Grammy winning awards for Outkast. In their whole career they were nominated for 16 Grammys and ended up taking home six, which is very impressive if you ask me. Outkast was one of the most fun, new, and influential rap groups of their time, creating sounds that stand the test of time and are continued to be emulated today. Anytime you can have your Albums still continue to be played and your songs continue to be played on radios. That is, that is something that not many people in the industry can say today. And Outkast did not only have one classic, but they put three on one album. From watching this video, I hope that I explained well on just why Outkast was one of the most influential rap groups of the modern era. And just why I love this album so much. I hope you enjoyed listening. Thank you very much.